All right, we got a new video from Sunny V2. The most intense arguments in Joe Rogan history. Let's take a look. With almost 2,000 episodes of the Joe Rogan experience, it's no surprise that there have been a couple of pretty heated arguments. And we're going to kick the video off by looking at one between Joe and a Candace guest by Owens. the name of Candace oh, okay. Owens, who initiated the conflict after stating in a very smug way that humans don't need to care for the environment because climate change doesn't exist. Oh my I god. Like we have to care about the environment? Like, what do you <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Like, oh not my even a little god. Bit? Dude. Okay, let me, let me clarify this. I don't throw trash on the ground. Like, okay. I'm not saying like we need to like you know trash the environment like um but do i believe in climate change no joe pushed back on this initial candace owens is a piece of shit the topic was incredibly complex and that maybe candace wasn't in a position to make this claim things became even worse when jamie brought up a website to support joe's side of the argument the vast majority 87 percent of scientists said that human Fake activity is news. driving global warming yeah i don't i don't believe this like Fake all, news. Studio, which resulted in candace implying that they were specifically searching for data to support what joe already believed I guess look up the opposite, right? Instead of instead of looking for what but you're searching minute, for, looking why? for what you're not looking that's for. Not what I, I didn't search for it. That's what I found when I searched. Uh -oh. it. Joe then doubled down on just how detrimental the climate situation could be. This could negatively impact all sorts of coastal cities. This could be a gigantic problem. This is not like propaganda that's drummed up by some sort of big business that seeks to make money off of this. Yet Candace showed no interest in changing her belief on the topic, escalating the conflict even further. I mm -hmm. don't believe it's real, okay? So I can't but sit why, here... But, but here's I the can't, question. I can't but why have a belief? Why have a belief as to whether or not global warming is real or not real? Because I just, I just find that when things... It, you don't understand correct, the science. You are correct. But why have a belief in it? Right, so it's not a belief, it's not a belief in it. I don't believe in it. Joe was eventually able to get Candace <laughs> to admit that she didn't really know what she was talking about. Yeah. How about not have a belief? until you so, really have okay, looked Okay, so you data. would prefer if my language, as opposed to, to admitting that I do not know this, I wouldn't die in this, so I've never made a video, I've never made a public statement, you would have preferred if I had just started by saying, I, I, I have no I have no opinion. No, I don't know. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You, you say, but I don't But I said I didn't know. No, you say, I don't believe in it. Yeah. I don't believe in it. You, you're saying really clearly yeah. that you don't think it's real. However, Eddie Bravo was significantly what a fucking more idiot. stubborn. Jesus who found himself Christ, in an dude. argument with Joe after refusing to let go of the idea that the Earth was flat. Show me oh, here we go. Show me a real picture. Listen, NASA Find does it. not have one of those satellites. Fake. Why does fake. it look fake it looks, like, it looks like something you'd see in a movie. That's because when they do it in a movie, they try to make it look oh, like this, which man. is what looks real. <laughs> Why would it be fake? It's propaganda, man. After Eddie kicked off Propaganda the for what? Every round picture of the Earth is fake. Joe continued the conversation by requesting to see a legitimate photo of a flat Earth. Not is there flat. a photo of this flat Earth? No, I don't. Like I just said again, that's what I asked. There's, is there's there a photo no, of there's this? no photo of of the flat Earth uh, from space. There's no photo of the round Earth from that's space. That's not true. That's, that's not true. true. It's you all fake. Know, those, why do you say they're fake, though? There's, what they evidence? look fake. They okay. look CGI. But you're not an expert in imagery. After being backed into a corner, Eddie so made the argument dumb. that the sources Joe was using were being paid for to keep the conspiracy going. Where, Where did you, you get this information? Ja Jamie. Where did you get it? Where did I get what? This information. Where is this coming from? Joe's just like, Jesus, man. Exactly. The American, so, what is you're reading journal? some information. I'm reading some information. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. You didn't go to the slow library. Slow down. Oh, it's on Wikipedia. Eddie, slow down. Eddie, stop There's sources that. here. There's a book called the American Journal of Science. I'm sure that all which of you is, respect Which that. is bought and paid for. Well, maybe. <laughs> Why would anybody be paying money for people to lie about oh the world? Oh, my God. Which is followed by Eddie stating that there was no evidence to confirm that the Earth was, in fact, spinning. Eddie, people have known it's spinning forever. That's how you, that's how the season. Gravity, baby. That's how you see the sun. We spin around. That's why it okay, makes explain eclipses. This to me. That's why we That's age, why you can track true. time zones. That's why you can put a piece of stick in the ground. You're, and you're, it acts, you're saying all the, the, it it acts the shadow as, moves. It, it acts as a sundial. <laughs> After over 40 minutes of back and forth between the two, Joe completely lost it. Eddie. I used to say the same Eddie, stuff. Eddie, you're talking about the Earth I being this, flat. Thousands I'm of saying scientists the same have looked into it. You think they're all wrong? That's so insane. You haven't looked into it. I have. No, you have. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. how, how could I not have? <laughs> You don't think I have? Eddie, hey, there's websites. These people are so fucking stubborn. It's like impossible to, to get them to change their mind. Like talking to them is just Dedicated pointless. Dedicated to debunking it. There's so many people working on these things, Eddie. The idea that they're all in on some sort of a giant global lie. Like, this is too insane. far down the rabbit hole. However, while this argument could certainly be dismissed as a bit of banter between two friends, the same can't be said for the argument between Joe and Matt Walsh, who oh, began the God, heated exchange Matt Walsh. after claiming that Jesus. gay marriage shouldn't be allowed as it threatens the institution of traditional of marriage. Of shit. But then why are you opposed to two gay people doing that? It's not about choice. It's about what this institution, marriage is an institution, and what is it 
And what purpose does it serve? Joe then made the point that a gay marriage doesn't damage a straight marriage in any way. I don't think gay people and gay people getting married in any way, shape or form changes a bond that you have with your wife. To which Matt responded with the following point. If marriage is not what I'm saying it is, why do we even need it? A, a thing that actually exists, which is which are you know man, woman, couples creating, creating babies. But after Matt stated that the point of a marriage was for a man and a woman to make babies, Joe questioned the following. <laughs> that's so, if marriage is only so for dumb. procreation and to bond a family together, what about people that are deeply in love that never want to have children? I don't think it's it's not only procreation, right? But if people want to be married and don't want to ever have children, are you opposed to them being married? Oh, I think this will be a, a couple that is rejecting uh, one of the fundamental aspects of marriage. They should be open to to life. I would hope that in the future they would be. It seemed as though Joe and Matt could have argued back and forth for hours on end. But what happens when Joe? Okay, that was like a very mild clip. What the fuck? That was that was not an intense argument. Invites one of his that. haters onto the podcast. This is what happened with Brian Dunning, who had written an article claiming that Joe was one of 10 celebrities who promote harmful pseudoscience, in which he'd write, Comedian Joe Rogan does what he can to promote virtually any conspiracy theory that he stumbles onto, apparently accepting them all uncritically with a whole him embrace he believes the apollo astronauts did not i mean that is kind of true about joe rogan he does kind of he does bring like pretty much everyone on the podcast which is kind of what makes it so great but at the same time it can be a little dangerous Land on the moon he believes the u.s government is behind the 9 11 terrorist attacks he believes the oliver stone version of the kennedy assassination he believes that aliens crashed at roswell in 1947 and the government is covering it up joe if you're going to put so much effort into promoting conspiracy theories and eroding what little rationality the public has left at least have the courage to come forward with a cogent argument and well-sourced evidence instead of the lameness of I'm just the guy asking questions. Take the responsibility. Joe would take this responsibility by inviting Dunning onto the podcast which resulted in a three hour back and forth arguing about everything beginning with conspiracy theories. Well it's just factually inaccurate on so many different levels I don't understand why you wrote it like that. Like th there's things that you said that I believe that I don't that I've never said that I do. Before eventually concluding with diet and alcohol. It's not correct that's not the way the body works that's not the way the digestion system works when you say that there's a supplement that can prevent you from getting drunk you're <laughs> i'm sorry you are you are against all reasonably established science and you're trying to you're trying to make a buck off of people potentially getting killed and i had a huge problem with that to the point that i had to turn the show off however if we're on the topic of diet and alcohol then mm. we have to look at the joe rogan experience number 1267 which became one of joe's most heated episodes after two opposing diet specialists began to argue about nutrition to this oh, wait, energy, no, 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 Gary, you talked sudden. for a long time and i'm gonna talk for as long as i want now throughout the whole episode the two guests were continually mocking each other in a very subtle way how so, does the yep. brain regulate that i didn't say that's so, fascinating. Like, how does the brain do that? Which accompanied other segments where the guests made it very obvious that they hated each other. Data are very clear on that, Gary. So no, no, no. Yes, no, they are. Uh, look, we have data. We, we can't say things like that, Stefan, because we're going to disagree <laughs> right, well, on what let's, the data Let's, say, let's okay. move on. You think they ate mostly fish? That's incorrect. Okay, according I to the data. That's, I remember you saying that in your book, something to that effect. Stefan, read what you've got in my book. Read what okay. I say. Just, anyway. Just read what I let's, say. Let's go let's, on. We don't let's argue on. better. Read what nope. I say. I'm going to move on here. The adversity between the two guests became so great that Joe had to intervene on more than one occasion. Gary, I, I really continue to get the feeling that you do not understand human energetics. Um, because that's not how it works. Well, no, no, I'm just saying 10 calories stored in the fat tissue. Ten, that's ten just calories, mathematics. 10 calories. I didn't say anything about Gary, how much you have to eat. I'm not done. Okay, no, but you're insulting me, Gary. Second. You got to stop doing that, dude. Gary. You keep acting like you think I'm an idiot. All right, are you done now? Are you done? Uh, can we be clear that we're talking about? Are you done now? Can I just finish this? No, you can't. I, you until can't I am done. Me without, no, Gary, you, can't you have he's, time he's, to respond. You, you can respond. Write down notes on what you, what you want to respond to, and after he's done, you can. Talk yeah, about but we're going to get into a long study. discourse on well, listen, something that's not the point. Well, let's no, find it out is if it is the point. point. We yeah, don't know what he's going to say. Thank you. Okay. But despite this, the two diet experts failed to agree on almost anything. What do you disagree with? Well, virtually everything. As we've seen so far, Joe Rogan is pretty good at keeping his cool whenever things get spicy. However, in a recent episode with Dave Portnoy, Joe was, struggled to keep his awkward. cool after Dave stated that Tommy Fury wasn't a real boxer. I saw Tommy Fury box. He is not a boxer. Well, he's definitely a boxer. 
Well, he puts on gloves. He's definitely a boxer. Dave went on to make the point that Tommy was only famous due to his brother's name. We would not know who Tommy Fury was if his last name wasn't Fury. Probably we wouldn't know as much about him. I don't. But he's still a good-looking guy. He's built great. He, you know, he looks well, like those a, are, he yeah. looks the looks the part. Looks the part. And while the conversation was somewhat amicable in the beginning, the tension escalated after Jamie pulled up a video of Tommy Fury's boxing. Look at this. Look at this. He's fighting a professional boxer. The guy's fighting looks good. Dude, you're crazy if you don't think Tommy Fury's no, a boxer. Think... Look at that uppercut. Fox this. Find look, the Tommy look Fury. Look at this. Ta find Dude. the Tommy Fury fight. Can you find out. me the just record just of Loki Oh, no. Oh, Watch no. this. Watch this. Look at this. You're out of your mind no. if you don't. Look at this. What, what look at that, that you right think hand. That, what, that's a, that was in slow motion, No, I it's think. not in slow motion. I think you slowed that down. No, <laughs> he is 100% a legitimate professional boxer. If you don't think so, you're just being a hater. The argument between Joe and Dave felt like it was coming from a fun perspective. However, Joe Rogan's argument with Adam Conover was significantly less friendly, which began when Adam stated that he saw nothing wrong with transgender athletes. Sports with uh, trans athletes who are uh, adds know, a bit competing of a spicy with, uh, topic. You know, uh, with their gender, right? That is uh, that is a sporting world that I'm more interested in. Joe responded to Adam's position by making the point that it's unfair for a biological man to compete against women. If you're a woman and you're a natural woman and you don't take any extra hormones or male hormones, you're not taking steroids or any sort of performance enhancing drugs, you're doing your very best to compete and you're at the top of the heap, but then someone comes along that was a man for 30 years and decides that they're going to be a woman, and this has happened, and literally transitioned a few months ago and competes as a woman and destroys records and dominates you in that sport. That's not competing on a level playing field. It's not fair. It's it's is as much cheating as taking steroids when the other person doesn't. Uh, uh, I disagree, and, and I've- What do you disagree about? I've, I've already, well, I don't think that there is such a thing as a perfectly level playing field. I think we decide what kind of playing field we want to have. Sure, um, but we do make the distinction where we don't allow men to compete and in I, women's divisions. And I think that that distinction may be breaking down a bit, right? And I think it may be time to break down that distinction a little so bit. So you think that males should be able to compete in the women's division of weightlifting? Uh, no, I don't necessarily. Um, but, but they can if they transition. Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, the the debate became even more heated after the two got onto the topic of transgender children. If you're shooting hormones uh. into a child and you're yeah. affecting the child's development, you're saying that's not a choice. That's nonsense. Of course it's a choice. You're choosing to chemically change this child's body. Which then turned into a weird debate about the existence of alpha males. It's, it's not, not scientific, scientific alpha males, it is true that women are hardwired to be attracted to confident, athletic men. I don't know, I, I, well, I don't know if I agree with that, um, but... Uh, confident men. Yeah. But if you ask girls... Maybe not, maybe not necessarily athletic all the time, but, but what are you confidence, into? yeah, is Did, a big and you part. Say, if you, are you into tall, muscular, confident men who are also nice to you? Jesus Christ, it's going to be off the charts. It's going to be like most of them. I'm, you know, I'm, re I'm really not sure that's the case. Really? However, at least Joe was sober for the- I kind of agree with Joe on that, that debate, whole conversation. As alcohol was one of the main drivers for Joe's heated 2017 argument with Steven Crowder, which began with Steven stating that the legalization of weed has led to an increase in motor vehicle accidents. Traffic fatalities regarding marijuana have skyrocketed. Google that, because that's yeah. nonsense. No, you we know, wrote drunk about it driving, Drunk driving arrests have dropped. What do you mean you've, what, first of all- No, we wrote about what the source is there, original what, studies. What? Steven then tried to convince Joe that he didn't really care about the use of weed. I don't care about it. Yeah, you do. I don't care. You're the guy that thinks people should be able to do whatever. You're a free yes, market guy, that's right? What I just said. So if you're a free Smoke market pot. guy, why wouldn't you be in support of something, whether it's the most beneficial I I am. or equally I beneficial? Just said I am. But you're not necessarily because you're, you're denying. But because right you're denying, now, the which is followed by Joe mocking Stephen for his attitude. Things that are sure. good and fe don't sure, man. Just like you don't sure turmeric, you don't sure ginger, you don't sure a reduced sugar diet. All those things that reduce inflammation are good yeah, for I you. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy that smoking marijuana would be as beneficial as a reduced sugar diet. After bringing up a study to support Joe's point, the following exchange ensued. Since marijuana ensued. legalization, highway fatalities in Colorado are at oh, near on, historic you lows. Up, you have him bringing up the source that you want to find. Washington bring Post! Bring up the study right there. At, yeah, Washington Post. Bring up the study that we wrote, we wrote about <laughs> on our website. Look, I don't care about your website. Since marijuana legalization 
Nation highway fatalities in Colorado okay. since are you called me a near oh, second. Since you called me a, oh, second. Since you called me a And after Joe sobered up the following day, <laughs> he issued an apology for the way he acted during one of the most heated arguments in Joe Rogan history. Oh, he actually apologized for that? Oh. Interesting. Dude, there's so many... Uh... I really admire the fact that Joe's able to disagree with someone without losing his temper. He trusts Joe for being calm the whole time. Yeah, he is able to uh, hold conversations pretty, uh, pretty well. Like those, those arguments were like they got like, kind of intense, but like they weren't like honestly they weren't that bad. 